hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be creating our menus so the first one will be the loading screen and the second one will be our menu on which the player will be able to find room create room or quit the game okay so right here in the canvas let's go ahead and create a new empty game object by the name of loading menu okay and what we're gonna do we will click on rec transform of this hold down the alt button and stretch it on all the sides okay and also if we click on our main menu i mean the main camera in the environment let's change the background type from skybox to solid color and let's make it black okay so now as you can see everything is black on the game uh, area now once you do that let's click on the loading menu and in here we will create a legacy text okay let's name this as loading dot 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 okay for now we will be creating a basic ui and then in our future videos we will be uh, doing all the ui ui stuff together okay for now we just need simple uh, ui for testing our game so in here type loading let's uh, increase its width and height okay make sure it is in the middle center let's move the text right there make the font size 30 or 40 make it bold so that we can see it and make the color white okay since the background is black so make the text white like this so this will be our loading menu so whenever the game is loading we will be showing this loading menu now we can disable that and then let's go ahead and create a you uh, actually a new empty game object again and this time we're gonna name this as a title menu okay because on this one we will be showing the game name and also the menu okay for finding room creating room and quit game so do the same thing with this as well stretch it on the all sides and then in here we will create another empty game object and let's name this as button container on this add a component which is by the name of vertical uh, layer group okay and you can open up this padding and I will uh, actually edit this uh, so I will remove the height uh, checkbox and make this control size uh, control child size width okay check that and make the spacing 10 okay now in here we're gonna add our buttons so the first button will be for finding the room so legacy button okay and actually let's make the container uh, button container size uh, let's make its width as 600 and the height should be as it is for now okay now if we for example duplicate this now as you can see the spacing is adding automatically okay as you can see okay select the button container again let's make this 500 or okay let's make it 500 for now and make sure the button container is on the middle center you can guys uh, skip this if you want if you want to create your own ui okay let's name the button as find room button and in here let's name this as find room okay make the text as 30 or let's just say 25 
make it bold that is it let's see how does it looks right here you can also increase the height to 50 if you want the buttons to be a little bit bigger or 60 okay and we can then increase the text size again to 30 now okay so i think it is looking good and clear let's now duplicate this button two times let's now rename this one to create room button if you see the game window right here okay so create room button in the text change this to create room then this one will be quit game button and right here just simply type quit game okay then select your button container make the height of it as uh, 250 okay so now as you can see it is looking good like this so find room create room create game that is it now after this uh, in our game folder let's go inside scripts then multiplayer scripts and in here we will be creating two c sharp script the first one will be by the name of menu and what this menu script will do we will add this menu script to all of our menus okay for example the loading menu title menu we will be having the uh, room list menu and uh, many more menus okay so we will be adding the script to all of them in order to keep track of what menu the player is currently on okay and then after this we will be creating another script by the name of menu manager and on this script we are gonna uh, type a code uh, in order to close or open the menu okay now uh, click on canvas and drag and drop this menu manager script right after the launcher and let's now open both of these script first of all okay once you open them let's select the menu script and on this script what we're going to do we will remove the start and update method because we don't need them okay so actually what i will do i will name this one as open menu or let's just name this just open and this one as close okay and make sure that you make them public and in here when we are opening a menu we can simply just say game object dot set active and we're gonna set it to true and then when we are closing the menu we will just simply say game object set active false okay and the reason we are doing it this way is because uh, we will be having more than one menu okay so it will be really hard to open and close the menu by its name okay every time we will be needing to type that uh, loading menu dot selective false or true or the title menu okay so we are creating a system which will be used on all of the menus all right now let's at the top create a public string and this string will contain the reference to what menu it is okay as i told you so we will be adding this menu script to all of our menus and then we're going to name each of our menu that what menu is this okay after this if we click on menu manager now in here we're gonna create a public actually public menu let's make this an array so for making it just simply right here add these brackets and let's name this as menus okay so this will contain a reference to all of our menus okay which we will be creating in these videos and in the future ones 
now if we save the script get back to unity and click on canvas okay now as you can see we have an array right here for now we have two menus so let's make the size two okay now it will uh, require a menu of type menu okay on which menu we have the menu script so on the loading and title menu select both of them and drag and drop the menu script onto it okay and you can now name this uh, menu as loading menu and this one as title menu then click on canvas and in here we can just now try and drop them like this as you can see okay now actually first of all right here on the menu script we're gonna first of all create a bool by the name of is open okay and this will keep track that if the menu is open or close okay so right here when we open the menu we will set is open to true okay and when it is close we will set this to false all right then after this on our menu manager script now let's go ahead and first of all make this menu manager singleton so we can access uh, the menu manager script uh, inside our whole project okay so what we're gonna do at the top is we will say public static menu manager instance okay then uh, right down below in the awake method we're gonna say instance equals to this okay so now we can access this script anywhere now uh, let's uh, first of all go ahead and create a method for opening the menu okay so what we're gonna do we will create a method open menu and this will require a string which will be by the name menu name okay and in here what we're gonna do we will search uh, uh, throughout this menu array to search for that menu which the player wants to open okay so in the for loop we're going to create an integer i which will be equals to zero and then we will say if i is less than the menus dot length okay then what we're going to do we will say i plus plus okay it is just a simple for loop and now in here what we're going to do we will say now if the inside the menus array okay dot menu name is equal equals to this uh, menu name okay then what we're going to do we will open that menu because this means that yes a menu is found by that name so we will call the open menu method and in here we will say menus and then we will pass that i to open up that specific menu then in the else if we're gonna say that if the menu uh, is already open okay then what we're gonna say we're gonna just simply uh, close that menu okay so let me call close menu method let's pass menus in it and then i okay now let's uh, create this uh, close menu method as well so i will just simply copy its name and uh, write down below i will say public word close uh, whoops close uh, 
menu and in here we will pass menu and then menu okay like this okay and then we're gonna say menu dot close so this will basically just uh, call this dot close method from the menu script okay so in this one we are opening the menu now right down below create another method by the same name and this will uh, this time required a menu menu okay and in this what we're gonna do we will copy this uh, for uh, loop and paste it right here and we're gonna remove the first if condition and in this one we're gonna say if the menu is now already opened then we want to close the menu okay right here we are uh, searching for a menu and if we find that menu we open that menu okay actually right here type menus okay now not menus it should be uh, open menu okay i mistaken that with this one so right here we are simply opening a menu okay and uh, closing the menu but right here we are checking that if any menu that is open we want to simply close it because at a single time we want one menu to be open okay and right after this uh, for loop we are gonna say menu dot open okay so if you save the script get back right here it will give this uh, error this is because right here we name this is open and right here we type just open so make sure that you change this to is open okay and then that error will be gone and now i want to show you that right here as you know we name this menu as loading menu and this one as title menu okay so now whenever uh, the game is uh, connected to a master server and then as you know we call this on joint lobby so when the player joined a lobby then what we're gonna do we then want to make the title menu appear after that okay so once the player is connected then of course we will be showing the menus okay so we will say menu manager dot instance dot open menu and right here as you know we name our menu as title menu so make sure that you type that exact name right here okay so what this will do this will come to this method right here and as you know through this string we type uh, we uh, pass the title menu so it will pick up the title menu and simply open that menu okay and we can close that menu as well and also it will close the loading menu by default so now save the script get back right here and make sure that your title menu is disabled and also the is open is false click on the loading menu enable it because the loading menu will be enabled by default and also the is open will be true as well so then if you play the game You will notice that now it is showing connecting to master and as you can see when it connected to master and joined the lobby it automatically disable the loading menu and enable the title menu as you can see it is is open is false and right here on the title menu it is true and as you can see we can interact with these buttons as well find room create room quit game okay so now we can open and close the menus in the next video we're going to be working on this create room button so whenever uh, we click on that button we will be showing another menu in which the player will be able to create a room okay so see you guys in the next one